Oh, good morning. Morning. Oh, have I been hogging the bathroom again? <laughs> You're all right. I've been up nearly an hour. All right. OK, I best get dressed. Uh, you want some toast? Made loads here. <coughs> yeah, OK. You got any honey? You know, I don't think he have, but I can go across the road, get some, won't take oh, a minute. Oh, no, don't worry. No, marmalade's fine. Yeah. Look, I, I just wanted to say thanks for letting me stay. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. As long as you want. Oh, well, I think it's time I should be getting back to my own flat. It's time to go home. You sure? Yeah. I'm ready. Can't put it off forever, can I? I get dressed. Hey, thanks for putting me up again. You're a real mate, you know that. Yeah, it's no problem, but um, it is getting a bit overcrowded in there, if you know what I mean. Of course I do. If she would only talk to me. I can turn her around. I know I can. The thing is, she's avoiding me. She doesn't go in the calf, she doesn't go in the rovers. She's either in work or in the house. And then she puts the bolt on and won't let me in. What can I do? I don't know, mate. So what are you going to wear? <sighs> I don't know yet. Well, why don't me and Todd come with you? We can make it like a double date or something. Uh, I don't think so. It's like our first proper date. <laughs> so if I'm there, I can really check him out. Well, that's exactly why I don't want you to come. I've already checked him out. He's fine. You can do a lot of checking in detention. But you never thought you'd be thanking Miss Ramsden for picking on you. Well, as far as I'm concerned, she can put us in detention any time she likes. <laughs> the boss! Hurry up! Come on! Thank you. Thank you. Jack, I'll put you some tea in the oven in case I'm not back in time. Right. Look, Jack, I wish we could talk. Well, Vera, we came to an agreement that every time we talk about Terry, we have a row. You want to go and see him, you go and see him, but leave me out of it. I'll do what I want to do, you do yeah. what you want to do. Yes, Paul. There you go. Why not? Why not? She's your wife, and you told a pack pub that you kissed her sister on your wedding day. I was hypnotised. I was under the influence. Yeah, but you still kissed her. It was a wedding. There was loads of kissing going on. It was just one kiss. It was a damn good kiss. But it didn't change out. I didn't run off, did I? I married our Janice. I'm still with our Janice. Talk to her, please, then. She'll listen to you. I don't know if I've got time. I've got a lot on today. <laughs> just try, eh? Have a go. Honest. She respects your opinion. If you tell her to talk to me, she will. I know she will. Yeah, well, like I said, I'll do what I can. You're the star, then. You're the star. You're sure it were Jimmy? Positive. Janice caught him going over my office. He's been round here threatening me, and that's his latest work. But you said there were no signs of a break-in. How'd you get in? He's a Sykes, breaking an entrance in his jeans. He's also my stepson. Oh. You're standing up for him, are you? We're not that close. Good. Does Eve know you're around here, does she? No. Oh, I'll be careful. Dodging and diving. She might think you're having an affair. Hey, if you want me to leave you on your own, you've only to say you know. No, no, I'm glad you came round. At this moment, I could do with all the friends I can get. Have you spoken to her? You're the one that should be speaking to her, not me. I'm trying, aren't I? But she's either got herself locked in the factory or the house. I can't get to her. Why did you do it? I didn't do nothing. You chose kissing her sister on your wedding day as your most exciting moment. I was under the influence. I don't even remember saying it. I could have said anything. I never did anything. I've been faithful to that woman since the day we wed. <laughs> Only because no one else said of you. Is, is that meant to be a joke? Look at me. I'm not laughing. Yeah, no. Sorry. So maybe instead of taking the mick, you could say helping me. Oh, no. No, you got yourself into this mess. Please, love. Just tell her how I feel. 
Tell her how much I care about her. The thing is, I, I can't stay at Dennis's much longer. I'm going to be sleeping in the gutter if you don't set me back soon. Please. These are the most recent bank statements from the account numbers you gave me. As the police said, there have been no transactions since you went missing. And this is a statement from the mobile phone company. Again, you'll see there have been no calls on the account since she disappeared. What am I paying you to do? Remind me. To find your wife. Good, I'm glad you remember because I know all this. I can read bank statements and phone bills. Look, Mr. Bolden, if you're not happy with my I'm work... I'm paying you to do a job. At least make it look as if you're trying to find her. I am trying to find her. This is just the start. A missing persons investigation is often a very slow process. I'm serious about this. The police are breathing down my neck. They think I've killed her. I've got to find her. If you're not comfortable staying at Kevin's, you can always stay with us for a couple of days. Oh, it's not that. It's just... Oh, I don't know. I can't keep hiding forever, can I? The longer I leave it, the more difficult it's going to be when I do go back. But are you sure you're ready? Truth? I'm scared stiff. Then give yourself more time. What if I never stop being scared? If I don't conquer my fear now, I'm going to be terrified for the rest of my life. Do you have to go back to that flat? I mean, can't you find yourself somewhere else to live? Can't afford anywhere else. I know I know why it's so cheap. Oh, it always boils down to money, doesn't it? Oh, it'll, it'll be all right. I'm sure once I'm there, I'll feel a lot better. A quiz night? That's right. What do you think? Uh, whose idea was that? Yeah, well, never mind that. Do you like it? Can you see yourself taking part? Yeah, yeah, I, I can. That could be really, uh, what's the word? Stimulating? Yeah. Stimulating, yeah. I think it's a really good idea, and you should go for it. See, I'm all right. Oh, Eve came up with a good point. She said that the key to a good quiz night is the quality of the questions. Oh, yes. You need quality questions. So, I'm thinking that maybe we could get our heads together tonight, maybe over dinner, and see what we can come up with. Ah, I'd love to, but I sort of promised Vic and Bobby we'd go clubbing. Clubbing? Yeah. Well, there's no rush. Clubbing sounds good. We can do that. You want to come out clubbing? Well, is that all right? I, I thought that's what you meant, huh? Yeah, I, I, ju I just didn't think it was your kind of thing. Ah, but it's your kind of thing. Yeah. Well, then, your kind of thing's my kind of thing. What time's kick-off? I thought you'd want to know. Michael's hired a private detective to find Linda. And he's told you this? I bumped into him earlier. Well, he proves he's concerned about her, don't it? I mean, it's not the action of a guilty man. Really? Sounds to me like the actions of a guilty man trying to cover his tracks. <laughs> Hiya. I've been looking for ages. Yeah, well, I thought you were Les. Yeah, that's why I'm here. He wants me to talk to you for him. He wants you to talk to me? I know. Well, tough. I've had more than I can stand of Les Batters there. Janice, you've got to. Why? So I can humiliate me again? Oh, look at us. What are we doing? Come here. Look at me. Look at my face. I've got no regrets. None at all. Mm. Les! Told you, I'm not talking to you. Not now, not ever. Mum, it's me. Open up. What's going on? Well, he sent Dennis round, hadn't they, to plead for him? I suppose that's why you're here and all, is it? Yeah, sort of. Right, then I'll lead you to it. You know, probably do a better job than I could. Hey, you don't have to go. Uh, no, loads of work on. There's no you can say. He's made a fool of me one last time. It were a long time ago. So? It were only a kiss. He swears now else happened. Toya, I don't care. How many last chances have I given that bloke? Cos I've lost count. Should have booted him out years ago. Well, I'm sorry, love, but it's over. So you can go off and you can tell him it's over. Oh, 
This better be serious. Bear for my business having you two sniffing around. We've got a witness. Witness to what? A witness who says she saw you at the river where we fished out your car. But th th that, 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 that's impossible. It's, it, it's ridiculous. I mean, there must be some mistake. Good. I'm glad you feel that way. Then you won't mind coming down to the station tomorrow to stand in an identity parade. What? Oh. Maybe you're right. Maybe she has made a mistake. On the other hand, maybe another look at you will refresh your memory. I'd hate to think you've been lying to us again. If you're interested, I'll do a strictly X-rated show. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, it's a bit cheeky, but it always goes down the bomb. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it does, but we like to keep a family atmosphere here. There you go. Oh, well. Uh... Worth every penny. So, uh, you were pleased with my performance? Oh, I was very pleased. It was very entertaining. Uh, thing is, you see, it's the punters who are the stars, really. Hey, it's you, innit? Flaming Orlando. I hope you've not paid him. He could have cost me my marriage. Oh, come on, Les. Janice will have your back. She always does. Yeah? Well, what if it's different this time? You owe me, you do. I didn't kiss your wife's sister. You made me say it. You took control of my mind. You doubted my powers. I was proving a point. Well, you can do something for me now. You got me into this mess. You can get me out. <laughs> I don't think so. Hey, can you hypnotise Janice? Hmm? Yeah, you can hypnotise her and make her forget what I said. She works across the road in the factory. You can pretend you're fixing a sewing machine or something. Then you can put her under like and sort it out. No, that's ridiculous and unethical. I don't care. It's my marriage that's at stake here. I'm sorry, I can't. Do call if you want to book me. Oh, again. Yeah, I've got your number. Hey, don't you walk off on me. I've not finished with you yet. Listen to me. Look into my eyes. If you don't leave me alone, I'll have you barking at the moon and screaming like a monkey every time you say. Ah, oh, no, no, he's doing it again. He's trying to control me, man! Don't listen to him! Close it is! Look, are you sure you want to do this? I've told you, you can stay at mine as long as you want. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, you don't sound sure. Look, I've had a tough day at work, all right? What do you want me to do? Take a lie detector test? I'm ready to go home. All right? OK. I'm asking. So, what did you talk about? I don't know. Stuff. But what kind of stuff you was with him all dinner time? Well, Candice, I wasn't taking notes, you know. Anyway, what do you and Todd talk about? Stop trying to change the subject. Well, I don't know why you're so interested in my love life. No, you love him. No, I don't look. Ah, oh, mean... you love him. Sarah loves Lee. Oh, Candice, it's an expression. <laughs> Sarah Platt, behave yourself. You've only known him five minutes. It's an expression. Yeah, well, my mum was right about you. You're fast. You know, you're going to get a reputation. Oh, another one? Yeah. Are you all right, Vera? Not really, I'm just... Uh, this woman made a mistake. Not yet, she's not. She saw someone on the day that looked like me down by the river, right? Now, if she picks me out in that parade tomorrow, she's wrong. She's made a mistake. But I'm the only one that knows. And I, I've got no alibi. Oh, uh, hmm? chin up. It'll be all right. May I say, you're looking particularly ravishing tonight, my dear. You can suck up all you like. You'll not get any free drinks off me. <laughs> Will you just step up? Excuse me for me. I'll be back, ladies. Do you mind if I join you? Of course not. I was beginning to think I was a leper. <laughs> right, surely it's not that bad. <laughs> it is. God. How's he coping? Well, you know, our Terry, it's not new to him, is it? But he's not well. I mean, like he says, he's done things in the past and he's paid the price. But it's different this time. He's been punished for something he's not done. Well, he's got you and Jack on his side now. Yeah, not exactly. Our Jack don't want to have all to do with him. Oh, dear. Yeah, but I, I think he'll come round. You know, when our Terry's been proved innocent, because I'm going to get the best legal lawyer in the business. Aren't lawyers terribly expensive? Oh, yeah, but I think our Terry will have something to put aside. And what better way to spend your money than proving your innocence, eh? The 
Les, I've told you before, I'm not talking to you. Just leave me alone. Joan, it's me. I was uh, waiting across the road, waiting for your finished work. Hey, well, steady on you. Folk will be thinking I've got a stalker. <laughs> Come here. Uh, no, wait a minute. What's the matter? You know what the matter is? I I'm not cut out for all this sneaking around. This is gone, love. You don't have to sneak around in here. Yeah, but look at me. I'm your husband's best mate. Oh, man. I'm out of my depth here. Hey. You just hold on to me, sweetheart. I'll keep your head above water. Mm. Molly was singing your praises earlier. Yeah? I think she really appreciates all that you've done for her. Yeah, well, she's had a rough time, hasn't she? She's dropped it off now at the flat. How was she? Well, she says she's OK, but... But what? Ah, I think she's still a bit scared. She's petrified. What? She told me so at lunchtime. I mean, like she says, unless she conquers her fears now, it's only going to get worse. Oh, she said that to you? Yeah. Right. Not taking any more of this. Well, look at it this way. If this woman doesn't pick you out, you'll be in the clear. Then you'll be eliminated from the police inquiries. No, they just find something else. They're not going to give up. They keep throwing stuff at me. They can't prove anything, so they keep having a go and they hope that I'll crack up and confess. Oh, my, come on. It's not as bad as all that. You didn't do anything, so you got nothing to hide. And they can't do anything to an innocent man. Do you think I'm innocent? Of course I do. Unless marrying Linda Sykes has been made a crime. Which isn't a bad idea, by the way. I've got a private detective working on it. Oh, right, good. Yeah, come on, fight her. I don't know why you don't go back to the police about that, Jimmy. Oh, I can handle that. Well, how can you be sure it's him? I mean, that graffiti on the mirror. Well, I mean, who else could it be? Linda? No. No, I don't know where she is, but I'm sure she's a long, long way away from here. Les. Les. What? Go home. I've got no home to go to, have I? So talk to her. Do what you usually do in these situations. Turn on the Battersby charm, crawl, beg, plead. Just stop being so flaming miserable. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's time for another go. I'll see you later. <sighs> Hooray. Hi, love. Ah, ah, ah. Hi. Oh, you look Hi. fantastic. Oh, you scrub up nice and all. Hey. I told Vic and Bobby we'd meet them there. Well, is, is something wrong? No. I'm not dressed right, only I, I weren't sure yeah. what to... You look really nice. So, uh, you two are going out somewhere as well, are you? Yeah, we're going clubbing. <laughs> Clubbing? Yeah, with Vic and Bobby. All oh, right. You two can come along if you like. Oh, no, I think I'm a bit too old for clubbing, love. No, 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 you're never too old to have some fun. <laughs> oh, all right, Dougie. <laughs> what are you doing here? I've come for you. You are? Look here. You're shaking like a leaf. Kevin, I'm fine. It's you banging on the door. What do you want to stay here for? You're terrified. Because I've got no choice. Look, I'll be fine. I just need a bit of time to get used to it, that's all. You don't. You're coming home with me. Kevin, listen to me. There's no point. I'm here now and I'm coping, so just... just back off and just go home. You don't understand what I'm saying. I want you to move in with me, like a flatmate. That way you've only got to come back here one more time and that's to collect the rest of your things. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. We'll split the rent and... I'll sort some out when the kids are staying, but I reckon it's a good idea. What do you reckon? I reckon you're a star. <sighs> I'm sorry, Janice. I can't handle it. I'm not good at it. I'm, I'm not that kind of bloke. Dennis, you are the best kind of bloke that has ever happened to me. I mean it. I want to be with you, you know? 
every minute of every day. Yeah, and I want to be with you, but it's not that simple. There's other people involved. Look, I can only tell you what my art is telling me, and it's telling me that this is right. I'm meant to be with you. Whatever else happens, that is meant to be. Yeah, and I feel the same. You know I do. But, but where's it going to end? I can't see a happy ending here. Oh, Dennis. Just told me. We can't go on like this. We've got some tough decisions to make. Janice, it's me. I was just trying to persuade her to have you back. I think she's coming round. I'm so sorry, love. I really mean it. Please, let me come home. Well, Dennis, what do you say? Has he suffered enough? It never meant anything. Honest. You were always the girl for me. Always will be. Let me come home. All right. We're solid, eh? Solid as a rock. You and me. Meant to be together. Best leave you on your own. Thanks, mate. I told you to listen to you. You've saved my life. You know that, don't you? You've saved my life. 